Welcome writers to How to Add to the Story for the Forever Adventures Library. I'm Garsvog. I am the creator and moderator of this project. We're just going to go through the five easy steps on how to fork a story so that you can take that story in the direction that you would like and help us expand our books. So step number one is right click on the first message of the thread you are forking from and copy message link. So down here in the category, the stories so far, we have a bunch of different channels. Each channel is going to be its own book. Each channel will only be one book, so there will always be a singular starting point. So we're going to go to Forever Test here, and we're going to look at the first thread is a test beginning. So this is where the story is going to start. When you click on that, it'll open it up either in the side over here or you can go up here and open in full view. This is actually how it's going to open when you start using the message links that we're going to be copy and pasting. And this will be really easy to navigate and read. Normally you won't even be in the main text channel. Once you read the first section and start navigating using the links, which are kind of how we turn pages here, uh, then you should always be looking at it this way and you should never be looking at the actual main page. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the page that we're forking off of. We're going to copy message link on the first message. The first message is important because when you click on that link, it's going to take you to the message that it was copied from. And we want people going back to the tops of the page because these threads and these pages are going to get very, very messy with lots of people posting all kinds of different stuff. And so we want the beginning of these pages to be as clean as possible because that's where the story sections are going to be. So you always want to copy that first message so that it takes you right back to the top. You're right where you need to be reading. It's extremely fluid. Discord wasn't designed for what we're doing. But it is extremely powerful because of the way, uh, you know, channels and categories and threads can all be nested together. So ultimately, it's actually going to be very good for what we're trying to do. So we've copied our message link. That's step one. Step two is create a new thread in the story's main text channel. Make sure the name of your thread is unique so readers can bookmark it. Paste the link to your just cop. Paste link you just copied is the first message. So we're going to the main text channel. This is going to be a mess. Nobody is ever going to find your story from this channel, right? They're going to find it by linking to it from the section of the story you're forking from. So don't worry. This is a crap show. Who cares? So you can create a thread in two ways. You can create a thread by hitting this plus sign and clicking create thread. I don't like that. Or you can simply type backslash thread, hit a space, it's going to ask you for a name. Your name needs to be unique. A test continues. The reason this is important is because people are actually going to use this to search for your section, right? Uh, readers are not going to get permanent links to this Discord channel. So after they turn off Discord, they're actually going to get kicked out of the channel and have to rejoin. So they're going to use your thread name to find your thread again, to sort of bookmark their place in the book so that they can get back and read that. And I will actually be making another video to help readers better navigate the stories uh, so that they don't have to go through and like reread the entire story to get back to where they were. Because, I mean, that could be hundreds of pages. You just never know. So we're going to put a test continues. And then for the first message, which it asks for right here, you just paste in that message link you copied previously. And bam. Up. Now when you open up your thread, right, this is where your section of the story is going to be. That first line is the link to the previous page. So when you click it, bam, -o, here we are on the previous page. We've just flipped back. Never had to go back into the main text channel. Just flipping through pages using links. Now we can get backwards, but how do we get forward? It's going to be the next step. So right click on the first message of your thread and copy message link. So it has continues. We've got our first message. We copy the message link. And now create a message at the end of the thread you're forking from. 
that includes your thread's title, a resolution to the previous writer's inflection point, and the link to your thread. So we go back to a test beginning. We could have searched for that, right? We could have put a test beginning and search. And now we have, hey, Forever Adventures Library started thread, a test beginning. We can go there. Uh, we can jump to that and go right into it. Great. So now we're in a test beginning. And open that in full view. We're going to create a new message. Now, normally this is going to be a different person, uh, or it could be the same person. If you want to fork off and continue your own story, that's perfectly acceptable. But uh, normally it'll be somebody totally different. And so you're going to create this thread. You're going to put the title of the thread that you created. So a test continues. And then I'm going to hit shift enter twice and leave a little space, right? Because I want that title separated from my resolution. Now I didn't do it here, but normally you're going to end your story section at a question, an inflection point, something that's going to provide options because we want people to be forking off in different directions. We want the story to be as broad as possible. So leave room for people to take the story in different places at the end of your section. Then we're going to resolve that inflection point. So if it was a question like, what did Mary say? Or uh, maybe it's a horror story and Bob has come to a fork in the road and there's a monster chasing him. What path did he go down? I don't know. You all are writers. I'm sure you're much more creative than I am. But whatever it is, you've gotten to an inflection point. Now you're going to do the, resolu the resolution. So I'm just going to type, this is a resolution. And that's going to give the reader an opportunity to say, oh, that sounds interesting. I want to go down that path in the story. And then you give them a link to your section of the story. And you just press enter. There's going to be tons and tons and tons of these. There, there might be hundreds. I, I don't know. So you're going to start. You're going to read the story. Once upon a time, a test story was written for the sake of teaching others how to add to this library. The test story would be a short one, but its value came not from its size, but from its purpose. And then you're going to read down here, and there's just going to be tons and tons of people forking off of this, right? So we're going to see a test continues. This is a resolution. I'm going to say to myself, that's really interesting. I think I want the story to go down that path. And I'm going to click it, and now we've flipped our page forward. So now we can flip back, flip forward, flip back, flip forward, flip back, flip forward. So this is how we're going to be able to flip those pages and get into those story sections. And now we've created our message. So we're coming down to the last part which is to just write as much or as little as you want in your new thread to progress the story, and then open your thread to new forks by ending with a post that just says open. So we go to a test continues, we make a message that says, this is me writing all the things so that the story continues. Um, Take as much time as you want, right? If you are on your lunch break, and that's when you're writing. Or if you don't necessarily have the story all the way in your mind, but you just want to get something down so that you start it, whatever. Nobody will fork off of your story until you write the word open. At least nobody should. Please don't fork off of people's stories if they have not written the word open. Give them time. Writing is an iterative process. It takes trial and error. So you're going to write this. Maybe you come back and edit. Maybe you make new messages, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Format it however you want. And then I personally like to use the same message again, or you can make a new message. Just leave a little space in here. And then just type the word open. This lets everybody know that your fork is now open to new story forks. So now somebody else can come in here and follow those same steps again, copy my first message so that they can get back to the beginning of this page and then fork off for their own section of the story. 
and in this way we're going to branch right there's going to be tons and tons of different forks for every different page maybe even you know a year or two years or ten years from now somebody might fork off of the very first page again and we create an entirely new story from the beginning with all of its different forks it's going to be a never-ending story, so you never, ever have to get to the last page ever again. Oh, so this has been How to Add to the Story for the Forever Adventures Library. Thank you very much for your time and participation in this project. If you have any questions, just contact Garzvog. I would be more than happy to help. Have a great day.